right. Hello, everybody. This is Jaden Blander from Holy Ground Spiritual Center tuning in. Wait for some people to get here. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? Want to make sure I got set up properly. Hello, everybody. Hello. Seeing some people come in here. Hey, Granny. Hey, Miss Vaughn. Hey, Miss Melissa. All right. Hello, hello. How's everybody's day going so far? Good, good. Can everybody hear me all right? Well, apparently, Svon just responded. All right. Awesome, awesome. So for everybody, I am Jaden Blander. I'm here, a part of Holy Ground Spiritual Center for Buddhist Breath. And today, you are tuned into Connection, our special today. I just wanted to uh, go ahead and go over a few things, a few thoughts and just kind of open up a conversation about what connection means to you um, and also give some feedback on what we're doing right now uh, during this quarantine to stay connected and different types of way that different types of ways that you know we're um, keeping that bond so got my little notebook here So, um, yeah, so basically, as I was saying, it's very easy right now to be disconnected due to the social distancing. Um, I know a lot of people aren't really able to be with their families right now, especially if um, you're overseas or in a different state, just with the traveling restrictions. Hey, Brooke Blander. Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to go over three main types of connections that I wanted to focus on for for this gathering today. And so the three main types are going to be connecting with other beings, connecting with your passion, and connecting with yourself. So um, connecting with other beings, uh, of course, is definitely um, important because we want to make sure that we're keeping those connections. Um, sorry, give me one second here, guys. I'm trying to work on my work on my speaking here. A second here. But yeah, so connected with other beings, I mean, that's with either with a family member, a loved one, a roommate, an auntie, or, you know, whoever it is that you consider yourself close to that's continuing to bring out your best energy. And I wanted to make sure that I point out here that it's okay to disconnect from things that may have a toxic energy, um, especially when that's taken away from your well-being. So definitely really good to make sure that the connections that we are maintaining um, are healthy relationships. So, yeah. So I do have a question. I do have a question for the audience. And so just fill in, you know, if it speaks to you. But when's the last time that you've connected with somebody um, recently during this quarantine? For me, it has been, I would actually say with my Aunt Elaine. I recently connected with her um, about three days ago. Uh, we hadn't talked in a few months, but, you know, it was nice to just check in with her. You know, she told me a little bit about how it was being in the police force. Um, and, yeah, so it's definitely especially important to connect with um, our family members and el uh, more elderly people um, during this crisis. So, yeah, so does anybody else have any feedback on anyone that they've connected with recently or had a bond with? I know we got people still coming in here, so let's take your time. But yeah, well, I'm sure you guys know if you connected with another being recently. But the whole thing is, you know, just to maintain those relationships. Oh, I got one here from Miss Melissa. I see she said, I reached out to some old classmates last week. Okay, 
All right, that's good. That's good. And I have here is Tiffany Mills Howard today with my sorority sisters through a meeting. Okay, all right. So that's recent, recent. All right, and we have a scheduled Zoom each Saturday night. All right, all right. And then from Holy Ground, I have, I did a video chat with my family in New York for the birth of our newest family member. Oh, okay. Well, happy birth birthday to the newest family member. Then I got from Miss Vaughn here. It says, I called my elderly uncle and aunts to check on them. Yes, yes. Actually, I uh, just recently connected with my uncle as well um, out in Concord here uh, a few days ago. Check on the Holloway. So, yes, yes. Brooke Blander. Okay, okay. Because I was wondering who was, who was behind the Holy Ground Spiritual Center. Because I was like, that could be... That could be anybody right there. All right. But nice, nice. It's good to see that, you know, everybody's still trying to maintain those bonds. Then I have Margie Bowles over here with an old co-worker. That's good. That's good. All right. All right. And so the second one that I, uh, we were referring to is connecting with your passion. And to me, connecting with your passion is just something that, you know, helps fulfill you throughout throughout life. It could be a hobby, um, it could be a sport, um, uh, a certain genre of books that you like to read. I know one book that I recently started to reread um, was The Four Agreements. Uh, that's a really good book. But just kind of going and diving deep into. Let's see here, all right. Our leadership team is strong. That's right. Yeah. But just kind of taking some time out since we have a lot of time inside to just self-reflect and see what it is that I'm most connected with or most fulfills me and what I can do to work at that during this time since we do have a little bit more time on our hands. But yeah, very nice. I know with connecting with my passion um, and even it's not even so much of bringing um, a huge goal in mind, even with baby steps. One thing that I have practiced throughout this last week is just doing mini sketches throughout art. So I knew that a whole project, which would take about 15, 16 hours, um, instead of just going for that goal, starting it off with daily goals of sketching little by little, kind of building my way back up. So that's a way that I would say I connected with passion. Let's see here. And connecting with yourself. Um, Connecting with yourself. Oh, and by the way, guys, this is going to be, you know, just a few minutes here because I know a lot of things are going on. Um, but connecting with yourself is really important um, as far as self-care and making sure that you're doing something that is keeping your body healthy and your insides healthy. Whether that's, you know, making sure that you drink the right or a good amount of water per day or, um, you know, just spending some time to devote to yourself to meditate of course and especially with this being buddhist breath um, we really we really do promote meditation and um and yeah so what is what has been some some things that you guys have connected with yourself on or what what have you guys done recently to help um build up your your health or connection with yourself thank you zoe lamour thanks me i appreciate you checking in Hey, Veronica Dodge. Okay, shout out to Veronica for joining us. Thank you for tuning in. Just checking in the chat here. All right. Okay, thank you, thank you. So, yeah, so out of the... Can, let me fix the lighting here. I want to make sure you guys can see me. All right. It's kind of getting a little dark. Let me actually tilt this a little bit there we go okay all right yes to water I see okay as Veronica was saying yes that's really good making sure you're getting the right amount of water in and then I have Miss Vaughn she's saying I've been trying to consume more water okay yeah <laughs> with the crazy eye with half of a lazy eye in there okay I have my auntie Nettie thanks for joining in today just trying to keep up with you guys. 
I've become more mindful of what I eat. Yes, especially during this time, it's really easy to get off um, of your diet or just, you know, overall health with foods. Um, it's really easy to get consumed into the DoorDash and Postmates, especially when every five seconds you're getting a free delivery coupon. So that's really good. You're being more mindful with eating and meal prepping. All right. Exercising in my backyard. That's good as well. And that's really good that I'm noticing a lot of people are taking, you know, everything with the restrictions on the gym and, you know, being able to eat out and just making the best out of it. So that's really cool that you're exercising, you know, without having to go to a gym since they're closed. Then I have Miss Tiffany saying, doing my own hair and nails for self-care. Not the best way. <laughs> hey, that's still, that's still a form of self-care. You know, that's good with connecting with yourself. Oh, you guys have a lot of comments here. Hold on, let me catch up. All right, and I have Miss Tracy say virtual mindful meditation sessions each week. Really good with coworkers have helped me. Okay, okay. Yeah, definitely. I might have to talk to Miss Tracy about that virtual mindful meditation session. That would be really cool. And then I have Brookby. All right, I'm trying to make sure I get this lighting right. Then I have Brooke B getting out and stand up and staying up on walking to get fresh air and sunlight, get that vitamin D in. Yes, that's a good way to connect with yourself. All right. And then Miss Veronica, I got coloring in my coloring book I purchased last month. That's becoming really popular. You know, adult coloring books, I just noticed that. I know even my mom, she does have a few few coloring books and stuff. So that's good. Definitely a stress relief. But yeah, so those are some really good comments, guys, on ways that you guys are staying connected in with yourself. But yeah, so I just wanted to, you know, go over those main points of connecting. Change this here. You know what? I'm just going to hold it to make sure you guys can see me because I noticed the lights kind of going out there. All right. But yeah, so those are the three, the, the three main uh, forms of connection that I wanted to go over. So just be mindful of those. Um, connecting with yourself as far as making sure your insides and your inner health is, you know, staying positive and on top of its game. Connecting with other beings, make sure that you're reaching out, making those phone calls, even some suggestions on, you know, um, video chatting or sending a thinking of you card to a family member. Some, you know, just something to say that, hey, I'm here, I'm thinking about you and I'm staying, trying to stay connected through these times. Shout out to Miss Ziza. Thanks for tuning in. Let's see here. I got a comment from Veronica. Children. One's not adult. <laughs> oh, she has the children's coloring book. Okay. All right. And, of course, the third one, uh, connecting with your passion. So just setting some time aside, you know, a few minutes a day to work on something that speaks out to you, something that you truly enjoy, and just reminding that it's okay to disconnect from um, things that are no longer serving you or not bringing out the best uh, of your energy. So, so yeah, guys, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, this month, we're definitely focusing on connection, and I also want to do a mini challenge. I'm going to post that on the Holy Ground page after we finish here on live. But in the post, you know, you can go ahead and just comment um, of a recent time that you've connected with someone or a screenshot of a a video chat that you had going on, or just showing your ways of how you've been connecting throughout these times. So again, my name is Jaden Blander. I am over Buddhist Breath, and thank you for watching.